I would say that uh, demographic changes during the last 200 years have been the biggest changes that uh, have happened to humankind. And I'm interested in understanding what these changes mean and what drive these changes. My name is Mikko Myrskylä. I'm from Finland and currently I'm working at the Max Planck Institute for Democratic Research in Rostock, Germany. There are not many places that uh, actually could compete with the research resources that uh, the Max Planck Institute can provide. My current research addresses the question how do early life conditions influence later life health and mortality? What is thought to matter for later life health is things like exposure to disease, nutritional status early in life, also social economic status of the family in which a person grows up. Much of the work actually is hunting for uh, good data that would provide answers. For an outsider it may look like dealing with data is boring, but the questions that the data can, uh, can answer, they are exciting. The research of demographers is very important for the society. We wouldn't know what kind of population structure we will have in, say, 10 years. And this information is crucial for the society if the society wants to prepare in any way to the changes that, uh, for example, changing age structure brings with it. I enjoy living in Rostock. Uh, it's a small, pretty, quiet town. It's very nice that you can walk or bike anywhere you want to. You don't need a car. Uh, one special bonus for me is that there is a direct boat connection from Rostock to Helsinki, my hometown. Some of my favorite places in, uh, in Rostock are Varnemünde. It's uh, beautiful there. There's a very nice promenade, uh, a long, long beach. Water, of course, the water is usually too cold, at least for me, to swim into, but it's, it's still very nice. And Wadenmünde has also these two nice, beautiful light towers, a green one and a red one. Outside work, I like to bike a lot. I uh, do recreational biking, I tandem bike with my family. Overall, I don't have as much time to bike or do any other leisure activities as I maybe would like to. In the future I hope that uh, I can continue working in a stimulating environment that I have at the moment and continue collaborating with smart, interesting uh, people.